Hello. Today I'm sorting out my brassica tunnel. I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm. It's Easter weekend. The weather is absolutely glorious. And so I've been getting on with getting uh, this brassica tunnel sorted out. Now, you may remember uh, I had some difficulty putting this up on my own. And then Mr. J uh, gave me a hand to, to put it together and we put it together uh, over there. But when I put the cover on it, so I decided it was just too close to the trees and the hedge and that the, uh, the netting could get damaged from the tree uh, twigs and branches uh, rubbing on it, poking through it. Uh, and then when the wind blew, there was a chance it would tear. So, uh, so we moved it uh, over here. And this is where uh, the brassica tunnel that I had last year was sort of just over there. So this is just the very edge of that space. Um, and at that end is where the turkeys were living. It comes with uh, lots of little clips. And I think you're supposed to put the netting so that it's tight and fits all the way down. Well, I'm taking a gamble because uh, there's quite a lot of the netting. So I've taken it out uh, a distance and I've used these hoops uh, just to hold the netting uh, further away. I might change those hoops to ones that are a bit taller uh, so it holds the netting um, further over. We'll see. Uh, but my thinking then was that I could have the tall brassicas in the middle of the cage and have some cabbages around the edges. So you can see from the mess uh, over there, this area is still a work in progress. Bit by bit, I'm tidying up and clearing uh, as I go across that way. Uh, and I have also done some work uh, over there in the wildlife area, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. So. I'm back to my, my brassica cage. Thrilled to bits with this. So I've got this plant just to, um, to hold the netting down for a minute. I have been tying it at the base so netting can get in. Um, but uh, basically I can, <laughs> I can create a sort of doorway here and do a somewhat inelegant uh, climb through. and I am trying to keep it shut as much as possible um, so that birds don't come in here and get caught in here uh, and also so obviously so the butterflies and moths uh, don't get in here and we have actually got butterflies already. So down the centre I have so far put um, one row of Brussels sprouts uh, going all the way down here so this is 18 feet long and I've put in I think it's 10 and then on this side uh, I've got Cavallo Nero kale, 10 again um, and the idea is that they will grow, they will get quite tall so they can grow as tall as they like. Um, I could stake them as well and then uh, towards the edges, sort of on the outside of the frame, sort of uh, here going in a, a row along or even maybe a little bit further out. Uh, I have put uh, alternate uh, Savoy cabbages and red cabbage and I'll do the same on that side. Now we have an incredibly mild climate here. Um, we are still having the odd frost but I've hardened these off which is the process of uh, allowing them to get uh, used to slightly cooler temperatures. Um, so I've been taking them out of the polytunnel during the day. I had the poly polytunnel doors open during the day. Then I moved them outside and have let them uh, have some air for a few days. I put them back in at night so that they don't get too frozen. Uh, and then I've planted them out uh, a couple of days ago. 
and I think they'll be okay here. I'll leave a link uh, in the video description uh, to where I got this from. I'm really pleased. Uh, it stood already stood up to quite a lot of wind. And the other uh, brassica tunnel that I'm sorting out uh, is this one, which I had a moment of what I think was being really clever. Um, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But anyway, what I did was um, I've got I've got the piping uh, that I usually use, and normally I would put uh, a cane into the ground and put the piping uh, over the top of the cane. And then I thought, well, I had two trampolines that the neighbours gave me. I was using them for the ducks, um, but when I took them apart, uh, I kept the short lengths of tubing. And um, I have hammered them using a brick into the ground. So they are Oh, this one's a little bit wobbly, but not very much. So they're in the ground by about six to eight inches. And then this tube will fit into the other one. And what it's allowed me to do is make a much wider, a lower, wider area for brassicas. There are some weeds in here. Uh, there's some sorrel growing that uh, I don't want in here. There's an onion. <laughs> There's a potato. Um, I will clear the weeds out of this, but I think it means I can probably get two uh, rows of red cabbage uh, or savoy cabbage, cabbage in here um, and possibly uh, then do a third row down the middle, so sort of alternating in the spaces. So you've got one, two, three, four and a fifth one in the middle. Um, I don't want to overcrowd them because I want them to be uh, nice big cabbages at the same time I don't want to waste the space so I think I can really comfortably get 20 to maybe even 24 cabbages in this area um, and they can then be covered over with this netting uh, and protected from uh, moths and butterflies and I'll pull the cover over and I will use uh, wood down the, at the sides um, it's pegged in at the ends but I will use pieces of wood at the sides to stop anything getting in underneath. I try to be really careful um, that birds can't get in because I know they can get in but also often once they're in they can't work out how to get out. And the other thing is with this bit of netting, it's a, it is old netting, I'm reusing it. Um, around this side there are some holes in the netting um, so I'm pulling it so that more of the netting is on this side than that side um, and then I can bunch it up and the holes will be in the bunched up bits um, and held to the ground um, with a piece of wood and this is the wildlife area um, this was uh, very very weedy uh, just three or four weeks ago now uh, and I've been through, I've cut down the raspberries down to ground level. Uh, as you can see, uh, here are some of the raspberry canes. And what I've actually just done with those is push them into the ground. I was thinking uh, that I might be able to, to use them to stop the ducks uh, coming through this fencing. That didn't work, so uh, I have temporarily put some chicken wire around it. So I've let the ducks out of their main enclosure and they're now uh, in this area. They're really enjoying it. It's really nice to have them in this part of the garden. So they're now on slug duty in this area, doing a really good job of squishing down the weedy plants and going through and getting all the slugs and snails.
and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and I also hope you'll join me again next time